Hi, I'm Bill from CJ's here at our 2016 Customer Appreciation Day. Customer Appreciation Day is the day we give back to our customers and the local community. All the proceeds from the day go into the Four Diamonds Fund. We have free food, free drinks, and a free car show. And even with temperatures approaching 100 degrees, we already have a full parking lot and the show doesn't even start for half an hour. Let's take a walk around and check out some of these cars. Well, this is uh, originally a 1965 uh, Mustang GT Fastback. I've had it for uh, almost 30 years. I bought it in 1987 when I lived out in Southern California. So, so it is a California car. Um, and of course, when I came to the East Coast, it had to come back with me. Torch Red 2010 GT, uh, basically 55,000 miles. Uh, basically brought here with uh, the Red Mustang Registry. Uh, you'll see hopefully a lot of red cars around the field today. And you know we've never been to a customer appreciation day at CJ Pony Parts, but obviously you know they're a big part of you know with the registry and a lot of our members are avid customers. And you know we thought that it was time to come out and support you guys. Well, it's got uh, Cobra stripes on it now, okay. Shelby stripes, and Cobra air cleaner. Uh, the scoops, took off the fog lights, put a GT emblem on. I just wanted a, a little change after having the car the same way for 20 some years. Uh, it's a 2010 Grabber Blue. Uh, it's a four liter. And there's almost 80,000 miles on this car. She was my daily for two years before I retired her. Okay. Um, I've been to a few shows. We get around. I get around with him. A lot of Cervini, uh, a lot of Cervini aspects on this car from the body kit. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, come back later. You know, you'll see there's a, there's a lot of when custom the, work done under the, the hood. When the hood is up, you might want to come. Back. The engine hasn't had anything really done with it. it was rebuilt once, 20,000 miles before I bought the car, and I haven't touched it since. And I've probably put on about 100,000 miles since I've had it. It's hot. Uh, no, I mean, it's basically you know we've we've done a few car shows. Uh, and basically, you know, what I, I you know, come in, the first thing you see is, you know, the charity sale is really nice. Uh, the fact that, you know, it's, it's, it's well situated. People are going to come around and walk around. There's a lot of visibility from the streets. So, so far from what I see, I mean, besides being, you know, extremely hot, it looks like it's going to be a great day. I, I've been coming here for many years. Um, I wouldn't miss it. Hi, 
everybody. I just wanted to say I know that you all leave after you get your trophies, and today you'll probably scoot as fast as possible. Uh, so I just think that we should give a big shout out to CJ's for doing this for us year after year after year. And so please join me. So third place in the truck category, we have Rand McNair. And second place, we have Zachary Ziegler. And in first place, we have Mike Weinhold with an 01 Lightning. Alrighty, moving over to the EcoBoost category. In third place, we have Charlie Schneider with a 2016 Focus ST. In second place, we have Amanda Wynn with a 2016 Focus ST. And in first place for the EcoBoost category, we have Jerry Thomas. Moving on to the S550 2015 to 2017 category, we have Rose and John Yakobowski for the 2015 Mustang GT. And in second place, we have Robert Schwartzel in a 2015 RS3. And in first place for the S550 category, we have Greg Snyder in a 2016 white Shelby. All right, next we have the S197 05 to 14 category. Third place would be Mark Warner in a 2007 Shelby GT500. We have for second place is Diana Rose in a 2005 GT Coupe. And first place for the 05 to 14 category is Nicole Shatton in her 2010 Grabber Blue Coupe. And moving on to the 94 to 04 SN95 category, we have Joe Zarconi, I believe, in the 1997 black convertible. All right, for second place, 94 to 04 is Ken Hess with a 2004 Mach 1. And first place for the 94 to 04 category would be Daryl Wolf in the 2001 Roush. Moving on to the Fox Body era, 1979 to 93, we have Date Holtzapel in an 82 Fox. In second place for the Fox Body category, we have Dolly Kelly in the 93 LX Coupe. And moving on to first place for the Fox Body category, we have Kathy Armstrong in the 1992 GT. On to early model, early model 1969 Fastback, Glenn Kreiner. Now second place is a 1969 Mach 1. And first place for early model, is Milan Brockridge in a 1970 Mach 1 white and last but not least best in show that would go to a one of one 1969 fastback Ed Glassenau as always we have the four diamonds fund here and this year we raised a whopping $20,000 to go towards four diamonds